Uh, my name is Helene Sudak. I'm a rising junior at Bates College and I have moved four times, but right now I reside outside of Chicago, Illinois. <music> professor Jim Richter was the first professor to send me the email about the Margaret Chase Policy Center, uh, Women's New Leadership. He was a professor of mine in international peacekeeping, and I'm very grateful for his support and his encouragement. Uh, well, after the email, I, I read through it and I said, this looks extremely interesting. I hit the requirements. I'm a student in Maine. I'm interested in politics. I'm interested in women in politics, specifically. And so I went online and I researched not only the application, but the, the prior graduates and exactly what the program uh, what the program aims to teach and what the program aims to instill within women, right? You want to be attending something that you support uh, so that you can actually talk about it genuinely <laughs> and not just talk about it to sound good. So after researching the program and also learning more about Margaret Trace Smith because Margaret Trace Smith was a role model for Hillary Clinton and seeing those connections really, it was a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer. These past six days have been full of laughter, full of learning, full of excitement, full of fatigue, full of connections, and uh, full of self-thought and reflection for me. Uh, these six days have been fantastic. They've been uh, full of hard work and a lot of enthusiasm. A lot of yawns, but hard, like deserved yawns, <laughs> because we're all working very hard and pushing ourselves and challenging ourselves in the conversations we have and the people we meet. Uh, but for me, I think the best thing has been sitting in a room full of women and the camaraderie and the support and the trust and uh, believe the belief in others in that room to tell you you can do it and looking around the room and hearing how brilliant everyone is and everything people are involved in you know there are some incredible leaders in that room and seeing that and believing in everyone has been amazing one is that we need not only more women in leadership, but more women that know about programs like this, you know? More women that are aware that even if they don't have the funds, there are other ways to get this type of education. I think I need to take away that uh, what we need especially is other women encouraging other women. And um, we especially need more um, women that are of minority groups involved in public policy making, involved in being in these leadership roles to bring concerns to the forefront that many people don't think about if those voices aren't being elevated and, and raised up. Um, I will take away how grateful I am for all of the support and all of the genuine, uh, all of the genuine belief from the faculty and the coordinators that we as young women are capable of doing this. Um, and I will just take away that I'm hoping that the new generation is more accepting and more encouraging of people from all across backgrounds, all across the world, that, that there can be new people that are the face of the future and that it exists and it's happening and we need to encourage each other and not bring each other down, but accept everyone and make sure people's voices are heard. Have fun with everything. Take everything you can. Uh, every panel, every conversation, really dive in and ask, your, ask yourself why it affects you. Why do you care? And if, and if you aren't connecting to something fully, ask yourself why that is and talk to others and question it and make sure you have a self-interest about something that you're talking about and something you're trying to engage others in because if you are not genuine, no one else will believe it. Uh, and another thing, uh, during the networking reception, just go for it. Just go talk to people. Everyone knows that they are there to help you and make connections. 
but just just go for it, start a conversation, even if it's for a few minutes, introduce yourself, and um, yeah, good luck. <laughs> Maine needs more women leaders. Apply for Maine new leadership.